Hello, this is Mrs. Barron. I will be going over the mitosis lab with you. So we're going to start the tutorial by picking our favorite color gloves. Mm, I'm going to do pink. I should have done green, but I like pink today. Tomorrow I might like pink or green. Oh, I like gray too, actually. Charcoal gray. Anyways, let's go ahead and click start. And then you're going to go through the tutorial. And... Click to remove microscope cover. So you take the microscope cover off. Click to pick up lens paper. Click on the lens to clean it. Then you clean it. I just click and hold and then wipe it. Click to turn on the microscope light. So it's this black button on the bottom. Click to adjust the diaphragm so that the light level is as bright as possible. And it has to be pointing like this. Doop. Be sure the nose piece has the scanning objective, shortest lens, in place over the stage. So 40x is too high. You want to go to the shortest Click one. Click to pick up one of the prepared onion root tip slides. And the shortest one is 4x. So you always want to start with the lowest one. Click to place the, use the course adjustment knob to focus the slide. So you're going to move the microscope view. Click and drag the microscope stage. So you're going to click and scroll up or down to focus, but I still can't see anything. So what I'm going to do is move the stage. Mm, ooh, I think there's something there. And then I'm gonna click and scroll up or down. Oh, oh, right there. You have reached the end of the tutorial. You may now continue with the rest of the lab. And then you're going to go to a higher objective lens and scroll, click and scroll a little bit. Oh, there it is, right there. And one more. So basically what I'm trying to, maybe I should do the fine adjustment knob. Right there. So right there I can immediately see that this plant cell is going through anaphase because it's tearing apart the cell and right here is a cell plate creating that's dividing these two nuclei nuclei into two separate cells so what you could do is either take a screenshot and place it in the anaphase box or if you can't find one of the phases you can draw it and paste it onto that box and that would be answering question number one and then question number two um, you can write a brief description of each phase so prophase metaphase anaphase telophase and then telophase how is it different in animals and how is it different in plants so once you do that, you can go ahead and submit it into Dropbox. And whoops. And you can also take a look at some of these other onion root tips to try to find the other phases. So I was able to find anaphase in the first one and you can use these other ones to try to find metaphase, telophase, prophase ooh I see right there those ones look like they're lining up right there and you just move it around try to look for another one there's DNA that's loosely coiled prophase Okay, and you just move it around and try to find, I'm trying to look for metaphase right now, each phase. And if you can't find it in this one, well, you take off your slide, go back to the smallest objective lens, which is very important, and get another slide and look for it again.